Okay, statistics today. So we're going to deal with the two types of data. First of all, this is 5.1, something new, something a lot easier. Okay, types of data. So first of all, I'm going to start off with data that we collect ourselves and data that, well, we don't collect ourselves. So primary data is data we collect ourselves. Secondary we do not collect ourselves. So get ourselves. So I might do a survey. And this one, get from elsewhere. So newspaper, internet, wherever. But you do not get it yourself. Get yourself, don't get yourself. I do a survey. I take the results of someone else's survey. There's a basic thing of it. Now, two types of data. That's the two different ways you get the data, but two types of data. Data will always go into numerical and categorical. All of this is in your chapter, so it's not that hard. Numerical, so I ask you a question. What age are you? I'm 15 years of age, sir. 15? That's numerical data I've got. Uh, who's your favorite basketball player? Kevin Durant? Good choice. Good choice. Um, yeah, and there you go. Categorical data, because that's not a number. Numbers, not a number. What's your favorite car? Ferrari. What's your favorite... Uh, how many goals will you score tonight? Three. How many points will you score? 41. Okay. How many times will Devin dunk by the end of school. I'm gonna say five times. Okay, that's numerical data, numerical data. Now, collecting data. If you're looking for data, basically a census, this word pops up all the time. A census is getting the whole population. If I'm doing a census, it's like a survey, the whole population of Ireland. So the census is finding data, numerical and categorical, about the people in Ireland. Okay, generally we do a lot smaller. Okay, and it's done every five years. Uh, this on page 93. Market research. Okay, so market research would be finding out information about customers. It's incredible what they know about you guys. Oh my god. But data can be collected, and this is all on page 94. We can go with the following a survey, one type of way, second type experiment Charlie knows all about that um, experiment gone wrong research okay now a survey everybody knows what a survey is an experiment everybody thinks because I said the thing about Charlie there that's just a mess with your heads to you think that I'm talking about scientific experiments of course I'm not as experiment is anything flicking a coin is an experiment yeah, um, taking 10 free throws is an experiment. And of course, when we're talking about experiment on Charlie, it's his ability to be able to shoot the basketball. So 100 shots is an experiment. He makes 60, that's an experiment. He got 60 over 100, okay? Um, questionnaire, this is really, uh, sorry, I skipped over research. That's references, books, websites, all that. Not gonna be asked, not all that important. Now, there's a word called bias, okay? You'll hear this the whole time. Someone says, um, oh, someone choose uh, someone in the class to do a job. And I would go, uh, Adam, Devin, Sharon, Killian. And maybe Finn, but Finn's in his infancy of trying to be a baller. So everybody goes, oh, you, you always favor the basketball players. So I am biased for the basketball players, okay? Now, if someone came to me, like Gaelic footballer, like Dargan, and he says, what about me, sir? And I go, you'd be the last person I chose. I'd be biased against them. I'm biased for the basketball, biased against the Gaelic footballers. Now, of course, it's not true. But we always want to avoid bias in our surveys. So, a great example is Lucaside Sport. Lucaside Sport makes you go 33% longer. They did a survey on around, I think, of six people. They um, 
gave him no food or drink for a couple of days and then made him go on a treadmill. Didn't test out who was, they put quicker ones on one treadmill and the slower ones on another treadmill and obviously the quicker ones, more naturally talented, did better or better trained, did better than the other ones. And they made him go 33% longer. Now, why didn't they say 70% longer? Because I'm sure they could have found people to make that result true. Um, because they would have done a survey to find out that people, the optimal number that people would be impressed with would have been 33%. Okay? So that's that. Next questionnaire. Okay? It's really important. This is all on page 95, so you don't really need me to go through it. But on the top of page 95, it says, questionnaire, it's got to be clear. One, clear. Yeah? If I said to you, um, What's your hypothesis of the, the purgatory situation in Syria, given that the prerogative of the situation needs to be an anomaly? Okay, nobody ever sounds that sentence, not even myself. It's got to be concise or short. Concise, short questions. Yeah, go from simple to hard questions. Adam McNamee gets confused, so you got to go easy. Provide responses where possible. Okay, give all responses. Yeah, what age are you? Uh, one to ten, ten to twenty, twenty to thirty. Now all of a sudden I want to take the box, but there's no box for me because I'm old. Uh, avoid leading questions. What's a leading question? A leading question is uh, Liverpool are doing really badly at the moment. You think Klopp should be sacked. Okay? You're trying to influence a person's decision based on the first thing you said. Never ask two, uh, two questions at once. No, two questions at once. Do you like maths and science? Well, you might like maths, but not like science, or vice versa. Or my hate both. So, no two questions at once. And, of course, because we live in the society, we do it... Uh, moment avoid personal questions or offensive questions how much money do you make strangely enough people are embarrassed by that type of questions and they don't want to tell and um, how old are you oh my god people yeah the world's gone mad um so that's another one that you got to take into consideration um bias i've gone through that and that leaves us with frequency tables, okay? So let's say I'll give you the following numbers. One, 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 two, one, one, three, 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 two, one. Okay, frequency table. It's number one, two, three. And this is the frequency. How many ones do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many twos do I have? One, two. How many trees do I have? One, two, three. Okay. And there is our answer. Your homework. This is going to be simple. You're going to feel very smart. Okay. And I want you to do the following. I want you to go to page 96. And you're going to go through, uh, I don't think you need, every, you're going to do question 1 to 19. Now you're going to look at me and say, sir, that is completely unfair. And you'll be wrong in thinking that. Because, oh, like some of the questions, they take two seconds. I'm only expecting that you give right down maybe the answer for 10 of them or something like that. Um, but I want you to have done each question. So like one of the questions is, let me just read out a question here. Number eight. What is wrong with the following survey questions? Su suggest a better alternative for each question. You don't have to suggest an alternative. Uh, what age are you? Offensive. Would you describe yourself as being well educated? Offensive. Uh, normal people like animals. Do you like l l animals? Leading question. Would you agree that top actors are paid too much? Um, Confused on how it's written there. It's kind of biased. Uh, have you ever taken legal drugs? Who's going to admit to that? Um, and don't do drugs I'll kill you if you do where exactly do you live uh, personal question you know can't be given out your address 
In few few numbers of rows accidents outside the school, do you think the speed limit should be reduced? Leading question. Okay. So just go get your head around those and I want to see evidence of just ten questions done. You'll you'll get you'll get it done, trust me. Or I even want evidence of just seven questions done. Just do seven random questions. Okay? And look at the rest of the chapter. Good work.